Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. With the gracious help of Synology that have sent me their DS1621 Plus, along with every possible upgrade for it, and with the gracious help of ASUS that have sent me their RT AX89X, their beast of a wireless router with two 10 gig ports on it, I was able to create a video about general 10 gig connectivity, what ports are there, what cables are there, and what in general 10 gig connectivity looks like and feels like. And then we created another video demonstrating how 10 gig connectivity can really dramatically transform the life, especially in the sector of the creative professionals. But now I want to talk about something much more down to earth and much more about us home users. The DS1621 the DS Plus has a lot of advantages. It's a beast. It's upgradable, it's future-proof, it really is a solid choice. But the CPU on this device is a variant of an AMD Ryzen processor that doesn't have a GPU built into it. And this means it cannot do hardware transcoding. Now, if you ask me, the choice of this, of this CPU is probably has something to do with lowering the cost of this device. But the hard fact of life is that this is the CPU it cannot do hardware transcoding, so if you install Plex Media Server on this device and you would want to transcode videos uh, uh, to your devices, you will not be able to do it. You will max out the CPU to a point where it can maybe, I don't know, melt down. But what if we're not transcoding at all? Maybe we're just direct playing media on our Plex server. So is this hard fact of life that the CPU cannot do hardware transcoding really prevents us from using the DS1621 Plus as a Plex media server? That's a great question. Let's find out. All right, guys, so we are at the computer. And before we jump right into the nitty gritty technical stuff, Let's spend just one minute to talk about what transcoding really is. And transcoding maybe can be, if, you, if we wanted to dumb it down, we could maybe call it re-resolutioning of media. For example, if you uh, try to watch a 4K video on a 1080 screen, Plex will need to re-resolution the media from 4K to the resolution of 1080 of your uh, that's the resolution of the screen that you're trying to watch it on. Now, before transcoding was even, uh, was even a thing, you wouldn't even have to, the option to do it. You will have to store the local media file locally to where you want it to uh, play it and then direct play it from the, the device itself. That's not the whole idea behind Plex. Plex is sort of local streaming. Uh, the, the whole idea is to avoid storing media locally to where you want to play it. And if we'll open a whiteboard uh, that I've prepared, you can see that if you're trying to play a 4K video on a 1080 screen, you will need to do transcoding. If you're trying to watch a 1080 video on a 720 screen, you will need to do transcoding. But what about other, uh, other stuff that, not, uh, that you don't need to do transcoding on, for example, if you're trying to watch a 4K video on a 4K, on a 4K screen, sorry, no transcoding needed. It's just direct play. Same goes if you want to, if you're watching a 1080 video on a higher than 1080 screen, for example, 1080 video on a 4K screen, that's not transcoding. You, you can't upscale a media. You can downscale it through transcoding. So this will not require uh, transcoding it will be direct playing and of course 1080 video on a 1080 screen again pure direct playing no transcoding needed so that's transcoding in a nutshell now I have a Synology DS 920 uh, that's my own private private device I have Plex installed on it and uh, just for uh, uh, so you will be, we will see the baseline. Let's try to transcode a video off of my DS920. I have a, a, a device, 
a laptop right here on, on the side of the table, you can't see it. And from this device, I will just play a, a, a video from my Plex server and we will see how it looks like and then I will try to transcode it. So let me just turn on play on my laptop. All right, as we can see right now, we are just direct playing. It's a 1080 video playing on a 1080 screen. And that means we don't need to do any transcoding at all. In fact, let's see the CPU usage. It just a little, we had a little spike just for the server to prepare the video for playing. And then it went right down. The CPU is not doing any heavy lifting at all because we are direct playing. So the CPU has nothing, let's say, nothing to, nothing to do. The video is just playing over the network. But now what I will try to do is I will try to downscale the video from my laptop from 1080 to 720. And let's see what will be the difference here. All right, it's now trying to transcode to 720. As you can see, we are now transcoding. It says here transcode and HW means hardware. It's transcoding. It's actually playing on my laptop. It doesn't have any stutter. It doesn't have any uh, hiccups. It's, it's transcoding on the fly, but hardware transcoding does require the CPU to work just a little bit. And since the CPU on the DS920 is how is a hardware transcoding capable CPU. We can see that the CPU is not even, it's not considered a hard work for, for the CPU because the GPU on the CPU is the one that's doing the heavy lifting. And the CPU, even though it's now actively transcoding a video, it's not really working all that hard. The CPU is able to, uh, to uh, to take up this load without any effort. Now, this is transcoding on a CPU that is able to transcode. But on the other hand, we are talking about the DS1621+, which is a CPU that cannot do hardware transcoding. In fact, I've installed uh, Plex Media Server and added media to the DS1621+. Uh, and now let's try to play a video from the DS21, uh, 1621 plus and see how the system behaves. All right, so I will now try to play a 4K video on a 1080 screen with a Plex, uh, on a Plex device that the CPU does not do hardware transcoding. Let's see what the system uh, will, how the system will react to that. All right, I, play, I pressed on play. It's buffering. All right, we, first of all, we can see that it, it, it tries to transcode and we don't have the parenthesis, uh, parenthesis of HW means no hardware transcoding, it's software transcoding. The second thing that I can see that the video hasn't yet, hasn't yet started to play, it's still uh, 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 trying to. I think that it just now started playing. But let's see how the CPU behaves to this transcoding. As we can see, it's really taking a hit right now because it's it's trying to transcode on the fly. Here's a stutter. The, the, the video on my laptop just got stuck. The CPU clearly does not play well when it needs to transcode. It doesn't have the ability to do it, so it pushes it pushes itself harder and harder and harder, and it still can't uh, uh, pick up this load of transcoding videos on the fly. The video is still stuck, by the way, and now it's starting to stutter. Let, let's call it that. It's not an optimal viewing experience. Uh, uh, let's call it that. So let me just stop the playback. We can see that hardware transcoding is not really a thing. And if you're heavily invested or you're used to watching your Plex media on your, maybe on your smartphone, smartphone, sorry, or something like that, you will be using 
transcoding a lot and this device will be let's say uh, not the optimal choice for this use case but what if we're just viewing 1080 videos on 1080 screens or 4k videos on 4k screens let's pull up a video from the ds1621 plex media server i will pull up a 1080 video and i will try to watch it on a 1080 screen in fact let's try to do it right here on a different tab Let's try to watch World War Z. The video is starting, started playing. And we can now see that we're direct playing. Let's see how the CPU reacts to that. As we can see, since it's direct playing, the CPU almost doesn't feel it at all. It's less than 1% or maybe going to 1% load this means this clearly means that if it comes down to using plex media server when direct playing then we can definitely use the ds 1621 plus as a plex media server as long as we are not transcoding now is it something that you can live with it's it really depends on the types of media that you watch and the types of devices that you use to watch your videos because remember downscaling is indeed transcoding but upscaling which is uh, by upscaling I mean watching uh, for example uh, 1080 videos on a 4k screen that's not transcoding that's direct playing so again this is something that is relevant at least for me in a lot of uh, my media files so this is something that everyone needs to uh, uh, judge on, on its own uh, use case. This was uh, uh, the video about, uh, uh, in general, uh, uh, transcoding with a 16, with a DS1621 Plus and what is transcoding and what is direct playing. Uh, um, and as you can see, you can use the DS1621 Plus, sorry, as a Plex media server, as long as you are not transcoding. If you are just direct playing, it will be as if it was uh, just a, a, a regular transcoding capable uh, NES. Guys, I hope this was informative for you. Please join me in my next video. I hope you guys stay safe. Join me in the next one.